Boyle's law states that the pressure of a gas in an enclosed container is inversely proportional to the container's volume. If volume increases, pressure decreases. If volume decreases, pressure increases. In a closed container, individual air molecules are constantly hitting and bouncing off the container walls. Each time a molecule bounces, it imparts a force on the wall. The force of each impact is small, but the sheer number of collisions creates the force we call pressure. Pressure changes in the container if temperature changes, number of molecules increases or decreases, or the volume changes. Boyle's Law deals with this last one in isolation. It assumes that only pressure and volume change. Temperature and the number of molecules involved remain the same. According to Boyle's Law, the amount a gas will compress is proportional to the pressure applied. Its mathematical expression is P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2 where P1 is the pressure of a quantity of gas with a volume of V1, and P2 is the pressure of the same quantity of gas when it has a volume of V2. This is a linear relationship. If the volume of the gas doubles, its pressure will decrease by one half. If the volume doubles again, the pressure will go down by half again. This leads to an alternative expression of the law. Pressure times volume equals a constant. The relationship between pressure and volume results from the influence volume has on the rate at which gas molecules collide with the container walls. If the volume decreases, the molecules encounter the container walls more often. This is true even though the speed, that is the temperature, of the individual molecules has not changed. An increased number of collisions equates to a higher pressure. Conversely, if volume increases, the rate of collisions, and therefore the pressure, decreases.